Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Mandala Monday. <laughs> We're going to start in just a second. Make sure everything is... Um, I don't know. Yeah, this way, I guess. <laughs> okay, whatever. So I hope you're all having a nice start of your day. Hi, Dory. Thank you. Give me a second to just share things out. Let's see. I don't know. Whatever. I'll leave it all up to you all to share it. I can't figure it out. And I just want to paint, you know. Just paint. Okay. So I see you're starting to pick numbers. Good deal. I'm going to get a circle going on here. Give me just a second. Let's see. That looks about center. I'm going to do a stretched canvas today. Just feeling this little... Five by seven. Hey, Tara. Glad you could make it. I'm doing well. I'm all right. You know. Sometimes enjoying the roller coaster that is my life. How are you? All right. You know, I think I'm going to go... Um, kind of intuitive style, kind of like the intuitive painting. So go ahead and pick the color that you're feeling. And I'm just going to put a little bit of each one on the painting. We'll create roller derby. <laughs> That's a little more ag aggressive than a roller coaster, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Share to a group. That's what I want to do with all my friends. So if you're not in my group, Inspiration and Insights, go check that out. And just as a reminder, I'm going to put a link here in the comments. Um, and you can use the code... Mandala one day to save whoops twenty two percent. There we go. Hey Anne, welcome. to pick a color this time too. Oh, I want to pick. So I invite you all, what I'm doing right now is I've got my, I don't know, just instinctively put my hand over my heart, one hand over my heart, one hand over my solar plexus. Taking a deep breath. What color do I want? And let me know what color you want. You can choose the number or just let me know the number I kind of like that number 10 too Dory since it's already there I'm gonna let that be and then let's go 27 that's my birthday day all right hi Samantha have you been in a funk? Yeah, it's a little, it's funky. It's funky. There's a 16. 23. Okay. 
Hey, Carrie. 27. Oh, I skipped that. So, 30. <laughs> it was low, so it had to kind of come out like that. <laughs> and what was the other one? 22. Oh, they're going by quickly now. Okay. 22. Tara says 21. Let's see if I can keep up with you. 21, 8. 5. I like this color. And I hope it didn't freeze up. It looks like it's frozen out though. Hopefully it'll pick up. Uh, 25. That was 25. 4. Four. Ooh. Hi, Camry. Good morning. I understood that was good morning. <laughs> good mmm. <laughs> good coffee. Good mmm. Man, I really need to get myself a manicure. My apologies. <laughs> I do. I love the colors that you all pick. Okay. I think... I think I've got everyone's colors on their rick so far. So, if I missed you, I apologize. I'm going to... I'm going to use this. So I love to, um, when I get a canvas, I'll use the plastic and recycle it. And so I'm going to use this plastic that the canvas was wrapped in. And we'll see what kind of funky background we get. And I'm going to just push it till I get the, want to be able to see that ring in there. Okay. Pretty colors. Nice choices. Just want to make sure, okay. It looks like I'm, um, it looks like I'm kind of, um, paused or whatever, but it might just be the feedback from my computer. So let me know if you can see me, okay? I want to be able to get in here and see that circle. There it is. And just removing any blocks. So if any of you've had a intuitive painting session with me, you know that I kind of read the, the paint as if it's the energy body. So I'm just looking for any any areas where it's kind of thick and I don't know. I'm gonna spread this out. I think we all need to use a little water, <laughs> which means um you know, finding a way to express those emotions as they come up. Oh, my 
nice long shower where you just let yourself emote. <laughs> you know, that's a good way to do it sometimes. It's funny though because what happens when we get bound up emotionally is we tend to not want to do any of those things that actually help. So if you're in that place and even a shower sometimes feels like too much to just give yourself a break. It happens. That's the way, you know, that is the way of depression and anxiety that just kind of happens. And it's interesting because the water's kind of spreading the edges, but not too much. Just kind of take the edge off, right? <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing yet, and that's okay. Right? Beautiful collective. Oh, that's nice. Yes. I think it's important to come together to everybody to kind of support healing. A heart in the middle. Yep. I feel a lot of love in this one, for sure. More water. <laughs> hey, Teal. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, if you're watching and we'll say hi, say hi. I'm gonna do a round of color in a second. Um, I just wanna get a little bit of the excess up. <laughs> I know it changes. Some people might not be as comfortable with that. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I'm ready for a color. If anybody wants to pick one, let me know the the number. I was going to put a sticker on the floor, but I just kind of like that it's different. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, I see some coming through. Number five, two, eight. I'm going to start with these three. Let's start with five. So five is such an interesting one because if you see when you put down on something, it really lets some of the other shine through it. And then, of course, the paint's still a bit wet. There's part of me that's, it's, I'm like, do I go inside or outside? And I think I want to go in.
kind of feeling the seed of life in here. Usually I'm very um, kind of deliberate about like how many lines go where and so that it's you know um, equally repeated so there's this I, I have a thing with symmetry but as I put these lines down it's, it just feels like it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter how many are in each section so it's an interesting observation all right so two so we go from, I love that it kind of shifted from very light to very dark. So I'm just going to check in with my, I feel like my, I'm watching my screen on my computer and it's so far behind. <laughs> I've, I need to reset it, so give me just a second here. I want to make sure that I'm up to speed with your comments. Okay, I think I am. So I'm going to add, so it went 5, 2, 8, right? And so 8 will be after the 2. And then it goes back to 5. And 11 and 16. Okay. Okay. So where is this going to go? It keeps getting drawn right here. I almost feel like I was fe feeling trees this morning. I was wondering if they'd show up. It's kind of fun to paint with wet paint you know, where some areas are wet and some aren't, and it, see how it kind of just picks some stuff up here and there. Angela and Jessica, hello. All right, so I'm gonna add to our list here. I've got 29 and 12. All right, so that's, I'm gonna 
use those. Let's put one more branch over here. Man, I keep putting my coffee next to the paint water. That's not smart. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to do was put on a little bit of music. See, and that just listens to my... So I don't... I don't listen to music often when I paint, but if I do, um, just because... I, I, I use things that don't have lyrics just because it influences my energy, you know, and... Um, especially if I'm doing something that I want to do, you know, um, use as a way of discernment and divination. I try to avoid anything that might influence that. Okay, but today we are listening to um, relaxing music on the hang drum. I love the sound of a hang drum. And it's created by Alex Dobb, and I'll put their Ko-Fi coffee thing if anybody wants to donate to them you know if you if you love an artist or musician feed them and they'll keep making things for you <laughs> that's how it works okay so number eight is next on that note I'd like to say thank you to everyone who is here and who supports me through showing up and different things I really appreciate you God, I'm feeling this to join this purple right in here. Thank you for showing up for me. Allowing me to show up for you. <laughs> I love doing tree branches because they just kind of wander and it just feels really good to kind of walk with them with the paint.
I'm glad it was chosen twice because it's one of those paints that is a little bit transparent and needs to build up on the canvas a little. You always pick just the right colors. <laughs> I love it. I love that this music, I've never listened to this one before, but I love that there's like birds in the background because I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of sky and air energy in this one. again and next is 11. <laughs> Tara, I, I totally, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty fluent in, in typo. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do know what you mean. So, um, yeah, one of the reasons I'm using music right now is so that I don't feel um, compelled to fill silence with talking, you know. Um, but I usually don't paint with music on. I um, I do other things. I love music, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it influences um, what I'm doing. Um, I do sometimes paint with music. It just depends on what I, if I'm doing something that, like a like a soul portrait or something intuitive where I want to get a message from it, then I don't use music. But if I'm, you know, painting like a decorative piece for my living room, yeah, then I kind of bring in the the colors and energy I like. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, number eleven. more depth on these branches here.
I keep I keep thinking I'm done with this color and then it's like nope a little more no okay <laughs> yes yeah, so I <laughs> I agree. So Tara says, I, I think I paint easier with music on. Could be that I hear myself talk too much in my head otherwise. And I, I totally agree with you. I, <laughs> it's funny because I was always someone who had to have something on. And then, oh, I don't know. I guess years ago when I started do, you know, like meditating and different things like that, I, um, I stopped. Like, I don't own a TV. I don't really put the put music on very often unless I'm cleaning usually if I'm cleaning I'll put music on but or I usually I'll listen to things like I'll listen to speakers and stuff but um anyway so I had a neighbor come on and over one time and said to me she's like I'm really worried about you because you're here all alone with your thoughts <laughs> like you don't have you don't ever you don't have a tv or radio or anything like that um and I'm like you know I <laughs> I guess I'm I'm okay with being with my thoughts but yeah, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what's up. 16, 29, and 12. And hello, Anne. 22, you got it. Where's 22? Why can't I see it? There it is. 22. 18 and 11. I'm going to throw that on there. Okay, so that's the lineup. So next is 16. What's 16 gonna do? Bring some spiral energy, which is fun. Oh, there's a little bit of sparkle, apparently, or something. Oh, I really like the contrast of these two. Ooh, so what's interesting is this right here was actually on the palette, too. That kind of combination of those. Ooh. I'll find something like this that I just really enjoy looking at and just play with it until it's, until, I guess, until I lose interest with it. It's a way to think of it. Yeah. Amy. Yeah, I, I I don't think it is a bad thing. I think she just thought that, <laughs> you know, if I didn't 
probably for her, my neighbor, when she said, you know, that she was worried about me, was because she would be uncomfortable with no distractions. I don't think, I think that's a good, I think that's a good thing. Okay, so that was 16. Thank you, 16. And 29 is next. I should maybe put these down here so you can see what's coming up. block the painting too much. I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, so these are the colors that are coming up next. And right now I'm working on 29. If I missed you, let me know. If I if you picked a color and it's not up there, let me know. I just wanted to kind of lines, but there's also little it's a lot of um, circle energy <clears throat> I mean it is a man mandala but the so these little dots, they feel like, in some ways, it's. I, I feel like there's kind of a visual commentary on this, the relationship between wave and particle and different aspects of being. Um, some work with, like, identity and self. Of course, that's what the mandala is always about. <clears throat> I feel like my my voice is getting a little funny. Oh, there we go. And these are not perfect circles, which drives my inner critics absolutely bonkers, which is funny. I just laugh at them. I mean, not at them, but... I love them. I love my inner critics. They've served me. And they're a pain in the ass, but I love them. All right. So that was number 29, and now we're on number 12. Hi, Anna Anita. How's it going? Glad you could pop in. So Tara asks, what do you feel to blend in other materials in a painting? Do you do that also sometimes? Yeah, like other, like, <coughs> like, 
like other painting materials and um, is that what you mean like or maybe you know like multimedia like using pastels and and paint together and things like that or I mean I have some paintings that I've used um, like I've printed out things and used paper that had words and kind of a collage and that kind of thing which is fun no I guess I just am making dots today <laughs> I mean, the whole point of this painting is just to be soothing and relax and not worry too much about. It's funny when you, when I say, when I set out to not worry too much about making something quote unquote beautiful, <clears throat> it usually ends up so. <laughs> bunch of water over there still. So that 12 wants to play with the funny how I can think I'm all done and that with something and then suddenly it just opens up into something else and that's what just happened was that this is just like oh no you're not done with me yet and this is that 12, which is, feels like in this scenario related to emotional expression. Speak your truth. It's on your mind. Because if it's on your mind, it's in your body. And you don't, or as I like to say in, in, uh, art therapy, expressive arts realm. Express it, don't suppress it. <laughs> oh, did I? Huh. Can you guys still see me? Can you all still see me? I don't, it might just be my computer. I don't know, I'm gonna refresh. Um... Hey, Mary. I'm doing well. I hope you are too. Bear with me. Okay. Sixteen and seventeen. You got it. Yeah, I've painted on. I've. I've taken paper and torn the paper to make um, things, kind of glue, glued them together. And yeah, it's, uh, thank you, Anne and Carrie. Yeah, I, I'm, and Tara, thank you. I'm glad you can see me because I think it was just, it's, I'm watching on my computer so that I can see your comments while my phone records. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's just my internet service. So I was on 12 and now 22. It's 
a pretty soft sage green. Let's see. on these trees, huh? The leaves became dots anyway, huh? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, 18. All right, oh, look at this. I can you feel this green? The trees are blooming. Yay. It's with the spiraling energy of growth and expansion. Like that. I, I said I like that and then in my head I heard myself and it's almost said almost sounded like I said take that like <laughs> like I'm blooming take that <laughs> hi Victoria I'm glad you could stop in hey Becky you're not too late. I'll add the number eight in for you. Here's what's chosen. Here's what's coming up. And then I'll put you right there. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that green. I, that um, 18 really, 
That's today's date, doesn't it? The 18th. Okay, so now we're going to the 11. <laughs> Yay. Hmm. Let me go back here. A little bit of emphasis. Strengthen the, the branches, strengthen the roots. That's what growth is, right? It's like kind of this back and forth and you know, give some love and attention to the flowers and strengthen the roots. Still a lot of wet area here. Um, still a lot of, I, trans, I, I tend to translate that as like raw emotion. So a lot of raw emotion happening. Well, that's okay. We can still grow while there's while we're expressing stuff and working through things. Right? I feel like I wanna give some attention to the sides here. Let's it's really get a you know, connect, connect those branches so that they, I, I, so Amy says I have a lot of spiral energy going on and I'm obsessed with pointillism. Yeah, I, I do love, <laughs> I do love pointillism, so that is, <laughs> I must be coming through too. Hey, Julie, I don't know. I don't think we have had 28 yet, so I'll add that here. That'd be nice. Okay. So the next one is 16.
This is starting to feel like a star and today, so I, I pulled cards for myself and I'm, um, this year I've been doing a tarot and a, and then one from my own deck and I pulled these two cards today and Anne, I hope you're still watching. Um, I did never realize how similar they were, the yellow, and I feel like that's coming through in the painting too, but um, so the star, and then in this one it says, dream your dream, and it says, life reveals its gift to those who make wishes and count themselves among the stars at night, and so I just feel like that's kind of coming through in the painting too, is, is this feeling of like, this beautiful yellow light, yellow being connected to our our solar plexus and our personal power. And I really am feeling that in here. And 17. 17's a, a wonderful number too. So um, I don't remember where I, where I read or heard it, but um, they say 17 seconds is about all it takes from one thought to gather the momentum of another and bring another thought like it. Um, 17, 17 seconds to change your thought process. Kinda nice. Just a little highlighter. Like. Going into this this area right here, which is really really wet, <laughs> um, and I like to look at. Um, a mandala when I do it for like divination I do the same thing when if, so if you book an intuitive painting session with me you'll hear me kind of analyze things in this way um, looking at the left side as kind of like our internal processes with the right side being more external so um, I don't know if you can see kind of the glare tells me where it's wet right look at there's so much emotional thick paint <laughs> on this internal process um, and it feels almost like this kind of cycle that goes into here taking what's external and bringing it internal and processing it and kind of cleansing it there's a lot of water going on you know so um, it definitely feels like like that's the process happening but yeah so this line bringing kind of some stability and bringing these lines in um, tend to think of lines as, you know, stability. Also boundaries. Mm. There. Okay. So the next one is number eight. this one but we'll see yep okay <laughs> so Marianne says no way I had two readers pull the star card for me the other day and I'm the one that picked the yellow yes <laughs> yes I love it Oh, don't you love when those things happen? That's awesome. <laughs> okay, 
right? Where does this number eight wanna be? I feel like I wanna work in this area over here. And of course we need to connect it. Oh, totally just got my hair in paint. Oh, it's, it's ready to just go right over it. Okay. I feel like um, it's like a, a briar patch or like some kind of thorny something that the light is just shining right through. Cutting right through it. Number 20. So if you'd like to pick a color, I can do maybe like two or three more before I need to refill my coffee. <laughs> yeah, it feels almost done. Well, coming in bold, Julie, with your 28. Is napping and just can you hear her? It's okay, Lulu. Hmm. One second. Yeah, this color just wants to dance right across everything. Trying to rewrite it. That's what it. 
just going to rewrite it. That's what it's kind of saying. Declare where the actual lines are and where the focus is. I like the contrast of how it's like this flat um, I don't know, it's like flat against like all this other stuff that's going on back there. <laughs> Very strong, thick branches, right? Are you saying I'm thorny? <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> she was, uh, yeah, she was during me. Could you, I don't know if you could hear. <laughs> I see your 30, Marianne. There we go. Yeah, I like that, that boldness in there. All right. I'm gonna put one more right here. Boom, boom. Right through that, right through that, where it's really thick. I'm just gonna cut right through. So even if you've got these emotional, heavy things, right? You just lay it on a little thicker. <laughs> So if, if the if one emotion is really heavy and thick, and you want to replace it with a different emotion, just you're just gonna have to lay it on a little thicker than the other, heavier and thicker. There we go. And then mix. But then that one become dominant. So Marion said 30. And I think, let's see. Perfect.
<laughs> Hi, Kim. Oh, yes, I hope you do do this live thing. Do you know, um, I've, I've spoken in person, like on a stage or whatever, in front of a couple hundred people. Um, but when it came to coming on and doing this live thing, <laughs> it took me a year before, like, a, and not just a year of thinking about it, but a year of like setting it up, being ready to push the button, not, not a, being able to push the button. <laughs> For like a year I tried. I don't know what it was about getting in front of a camera. Um, doing it this way where I don't, you know, um, I don't mascara on or anything. <laughs> like I don't, I don't have to worry too much about, you know, showing up. I'd show up, it's just, you just see in my artwork, and that's an easier way to start, I think, too. Oh, and Kim, if you want, um, I have a private Facebook group where you can come in and practice going live if, if you want to do that. And that's what really helped me. I was a, I was a member of a, of a private Facebook group that I felt really safe in, so it's different than going on your page. And sometimes strangers are a little nicer than people we know. I'm really feeling this pink. I like it. That'd be so, oh, so, um, you can, actually, I have, I have three different groups. <laughs> uh, so I have, um, Inspiration and Insights, which is, uh, an open group where you're welcome to come in and, and try out in there too, but I have, um, Courageous Creators, which I'm not in very often. I'm kind of transitioning because I'm doing art support groups. So there's a, if you come to one of my art support groups then you make art with others in a group um, through Zoom, then you can go in that group. I'm just going to add some white and then I think we're done. Um, but yeah, if you, I'll, I'll put a link to the Courageous Creators group. You're welcome to come in there and try it out. So I think if we just... It's a lot more than I wanted. Yeah, let's do it like that. We're gonna end where we began with the yellow.
It's like a nice sunny day, right? Gotta use the. I feel like the painting gives off some vitamin D. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it for today's mandala. So a mandala can really be anything. It's a circle. It's a painting in a circle. <laughs> um, it's more about, oh, I really like these. I'm going to emphasize these greens. They're just kind of catching my eye, but I feel like they need to be brighter. Um, Yes, I hope you'll all be inspired to create something, you know, just to create it. Um, I feel like it needs a little bit up here. There you go. happy 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 Monday <laughs> I'll put a picture so you're all welcome to you know share what you you know what you see in it how it makes you feel what kind of words come to you and um, yeah oh and just a reminder so um, prints will be available this one along with all the other ones and on Mondays you can use the code mandala monday to save 22 percent on all prints and there's now um phone cases and all kinds of fun stuff um tote bags and whatnots yeah so if you have any questions about that let me know but otherwise thank you so much i really appreciate that you come out and, and support my work and that we get to create together on mondays and i'll see you next time. Bye-bye.